I still can't believe how close we are getting. We only have like five more items to collect and then I'll be able to get that power I wanted so much. Or, you know, the power that will help me get what I actually want. I, I know that these last few steps are probably going to be the most difficult. I, I recognize that, but you know, I've been making good strides. I mean, we got the ultimate stew with no problem, which, by the way, tastes awful. Why, why, who made this soup, and who calls it ultimate? It tastes like, it has like 200 different flavors that just do not mash well. <sighs> oh, yeah, I should, yeah, I should probably get on that. Thank you for reminding me. Uh, oh, yeah, by the way, um, you should probably take care of... Hello everyone and welcome back to Waterblock, where today, well, as you can see, I've done a little bit of off-camera work, but, you know, it's not that much off-camera work. <laughs> okay, maybe I, I may have gone a little overboard. But, uh, as promised, I plan on doing Galacticraft today. Uh, I've, I was just setting up the auto crafting system, which by the way, I have this wire going in the ground so that we can run P2Ps everywhere. Because I've already tried it, you, for one thing, you can't, you, connect a P to P through another P to P. So, basically if I had this coming off of a P to P, I couldn't connect these to it. Uh, and another thing is you can't use another ME system to... The P2P channels are connected, have to be connected directly to this ME system. I can't just have another a controller, like, way out there. Or, uh, what are these things? A power acceptor out there and attach P2Ps to it. And have it be these ones. I have to actually get them from this one. So, yeah, there's that. Uh, so, uh, how many have I added? Well, I hooked up the crusher, the enricher, uh, a grinder, and then the infusing factory, crushing factory, enriching factory, as you can tell. I added a grinder for, uh, so that I could do uh, a bun, I basically uh, added an auto craft for the ultimate stew. Uh, this is obviously the Venus furnace, but the way I have it set up is made it so I had to have a chest in between. So I had to rename every one of these uh, uh, interfaces. And obviously, we have the molecular assemblers over there, which we have a few recipes in there already but we still got plenty of space to work with so I'm not too worried and hey you know what if we need more I think we might have a few spare channels just just one or two to spare not not that many in case you're wondering how many channels I can actually have just from these B2Ps uh, it's 3072 I did the math. So, you know, I, I get the feeling we're not going to be hooking all those up. <laughs> oh, yeah, you probably noticed that these are all cable facades. That's where the cable is running. And it runs all the way out over here to where these are. Anyway, I think it's time to show you the Galactic Craft area I set up. So let's go to floor three. I probably could add some lights here, but eh, there's no floors there. So this is the area I have set apart for Galactic Craft. Obviously it's out in the open so we can fly. I'm sure I could fly a rocket through water, but I don't want to test and s find out if, that actually how it, if it actually works like that. As hilarious as it would be. Ooh, oh. Couldn't move faster that time. Alright. Let's see. Uh, yeah, so I think now we can get into Galacticraft, no problem. 
Am I forgetting anything? Oh yeah, I did set up my uh, EMC little thing and been upgrading it a bit. I haven't gotten that far yet. I definitely need to be get the Wand of Animation sooner rather than later. I'm half tempted to just forget the Galacticraft stuff and start working towards this. I mean, we only have Rainbow Stone left. <sighs> but I did promise Galacticraft, so that's what we're doing. Next time, though, we are definitely doing the wand, trying to get the Wand of Animation. We may not even get through all of Galacticraft today, and next time we're, we just have to. There's no point in postponing it anymore. Uh, so, what was I doing? Oh, right, we need to do Galacticraft stuff. Not Pam's. At some point, I do want to get every recipe, food recipe from Pam's done, but for the moment, you know, it, maybe not. Spend our resources like that. Galacticraft. And <clears throat> at extra planets now I'm curious how close are we to making because we do get some of the other ores already if we wanted to make the tier 4 is there okay so that's all th we need zinc so that's doable but we don't have palladium so we also don't have titanium, so we we just have to do aluminum. All right. Well, we do need a spacesuit. <sighs> All right. Let's. Uh, sorry about that. Thought I was gonna sneeze there. All right. So we need. Oh, you know what? We can't make that. Yeah, because we need a compressor. Uh, is there a better version than the electric? No? Alright, well, we're probably going to just stick with this one because this one can easily be taken accelerated. This one, not so much. Uh, right. And to make that, we need a circuit fabricator. Which we are actually really close to being able to make right off the bat. What do you mean we don't have wool? <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> so, um, it turns out with the cow halter, if you left click a fluid cow, you can collect them. These are basically their spawn eggs. So, you know, you can sort of collect them, and I collected one of every type. So... Ignoring that, the, I don't know why I wanted to do that. I just did. And who knows, maybe it'll come in handy later. I'm going to want more aluminum. Uh, the rest, oh. Okay, well. We should probably add a pattern for that. Ah! Alright, we don't need that recipe anymore. Alright, there's aluminum. Okay. Let's grab aluminum. Not that one. Let's just, you know, just grab a thousand. I'm trying to think, is there anything else I did off camera aside from set up the P2Ps and crafting stuff? I don't think there is. I mean, I guess I, I think I set up the, uh, yeah, this is for, oh, wait, no, that's taking essence out. Here it is. This one is taking essence over to the spawner over there, and that's going to be important later. Like, we're going to want a lot of essence as well, so I might, uh, start automating the production of liquid XP to essence and the automating, uh, the... S XP essence to, uh, you know. Whew. Wait, did we make the circuit fabricator yet? I don't, I, th I don't think we did. And actually, uh, 
I'm gonna actually set this all up in the Galacticraft area. And I'm half tempted to use their wiring system. Half tempted. I could also use something bizarre like uh, immersive engineering wires. That'd be fun. So, let's see. Uh, yeah, it's just one. Can I use a wrench on you guys? Nope. So we are going to need the pickaxe. <sighs> and, of course, cable. Oh, and, you know, probably a fl flux point. I may have to make more uh, flux cores soon. You know, let's just make the rest of those into flex points, why not? Alright, I'm just going to make a line back here of cable. For now. And, oh, I also got... Ooh, that's something else I need to put on Dialogcraft. But I, uh... Got up to the ultimate. I basically added, uh... Well, you probably saw that I basically added the ultimate, uh, thing. I'll just show you later when I need to. Alright. Happy power. Alright, I'm gonna quickly pause and take care of some things. I'll be back. Alright. I'm back. I just had to take care of one or two things. Anyway, so we're going to need diamonds, silicon, and then the respective redstone things. So, I'm probably just going to fill this up with, uh... Right now, I'm just going to fill it up like this. I just realized, I don't think I'm going to be able to reasonably get, uh the ME cables up here so oh, you know I also need redstone torches thankfully I have a stack and it's on autocraft so so I'm just gonna make three stacks I believe that's how much yeah three stacks of this I'll just take one and just leave it going I'm going to put the compressor all the way over in this opposite corner so I can tick accelerate it. Alright, there we go. Now we just make another anvil. Right? <laughs> now I'm just going to make a stack of iron blocks. Make the anvil. Yep. 20. There. Don't have to worry about anvils anymore. Alright, let's put it over here, and then get pedestal, get the watch flowing time, and just leave that on for now, and we can just, you know, use Atrinatriath, these fuel blocks, so... Next on our shopping list would be I'm trying to remember. Uh, I guess we should focus on the spacesuit first, cause um Okay, actually yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll let's uh get all of the things we are gonna need. I think we need some they made it extra plats makes it so we are gonna probably need thermal padding, I think. Uh, we don't technically need a frequency module, but I'm going to grab that anyway. Uh, let's see. Uh, I, I'll just go over the recipes with you guys right now. So these are the recipes for this, and these are just for a wool and a redstone. Uh, frequency module is basic wafer, compressed iron, and compressed aluminum. Uh, let's see now. Where is all the, uh, where's all the gear? Oh, right, we are going to need a parachute, and then obviously we can color it however we want. That's that recipe. Oh, didn't need to bookmark that. 
Oh, here's that stuff. So, oxygen mask, pretty straightforward. Oxygen gear is a little bit more complicated. Uh, compressed steel. Compressed tin. Tin canister. And there's just more compressed tin and steel. So, yeah. And then finally, we are going to be going with heavy canisters, which means compressed steel, tin canister, and red wool. Specifically, red wool. So, okay. We will also be needing some oxygen compressors. Where are those? Ah. So, we need oxygen collectors, which is, we've already seen all this stuff, but there's also this, which, yeah, it's pretty simple. Um, we also need the oxygen compressor, so we can fill our tanks, which requires compressed bronze. We know how to get bronze pretty easily, and the rest of that stuff. Um... We are also going to need a refinery and a fuel loader. Refinery is really simple, actually. And the fuel loader is, yeah, it's very, very simple. Uh, let's see, what else? Oh, right, we're probably going to need rocket pads. Ah, that's what I keep forgetting. We need one of these, which is this recipe. I, I won't place it without you guys, but yeah. I'm going to make all of this, this stuff up here, and then I'll bring you back. And we are back. I've already set up the uh, fuel loader where I want it and the refinery. Uh, I'm going to be hooking up. Actually, you know, I, I should probably do that now. If we just, uh, <laughs> I think we do need a cow halter, but now if we do oil, actually, hold on, we have every cow, we could just do fuel, now uh, we'll set this up for now, but later on, uh, I think this is the one. We'll just be using these ones. I'll set up, uh, basically, uh, can I just, okay, and there we go. I don't think that's actually close enough, though, or far enough, I should say. We actually have to have a, you know, let's actually move it right here. There we go. And now we grab a pipe. Uh, let's quickly make a few more of these. There we go. Uh, and there we go. So obviously this one here, and then this, for now, wait is this the right way? Yeah okay this is good. That's actually perfect. And then we have a cable, all genius, just genius, alright, let's jump the cow and there we go now it will be getting fuel well it's actually not quite so okay now it'll get fuel as soon as this cow uh, gets uh, milked yeah alright and uh, obviously we have the oxygen collector over here just doing its thing filling up these. I've already put them in there. Oh, good. We already got our first two. That's the wrong. So we can put these in there. The oxygen gear. The oxygen mask. Our beautiful parachute. 
and the frequency module so that we can hear sounds. Oh, right, and my thermal padding. Don't want to go to space without my thermal underwear. Alright, once that's done, yeah. Oh, right, uh, also there's this, which just looks like this above ground. I believe this is meant to be the control panel, and usually I have it set up like this. But because I'm trying to be a bit fancier, we'll just put it in the ground like that. And I'll be honest, I, for the longest time, I didn't know you could do this. Anyway, let's see. Has this done its thing yet? No, we've still got 38 seconds before that happens. Definitely, uh, in, before next episode, I'm going to have a facility for getting fuel with uh, fluid cows. Um, I guess now we just start making the rocket. Which means we're going to need a tier 1 rocket. Meaning we need this, 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 and this. Meaning we need a bunch of this. So we need steel, aluminum, bronze. Steel. Aluminum. And bronze. Steel, aluminum, bronze. Steel, aluminum, bronze. And there we go. Alright, we put at least one of those in there. Grab the nose cone. Oh, wow, I can't believe we actually had... Yeah, I'm just going to make a stack of these. We're, we constantly need more of those. Alright, then one, two, three, four of those. We could probably uh, do something with uh, the dash to progress further but for now yeah we're obviously not going anywhere today because we obviously don't have fuel but you know you know maybe we'll go to the moon I'll just let this do its thing for a while and bring you back when it's got enough fuel to actually do something you know, yeah I think that's what I'll do for now um, yeah I think we just uh, hold off let me just put uh, these in here. I'm going to put these extra oxygen tanks in here. There is obviously this tank, which I feel like I need to update that recipe. I never updated it when I, I added uh, the extra planets. And there are a few better uh, canisters. Where are they? Uh, I know they're here somewhere. Come on, where are they? Oh, there they are. There's the very heavy, and then the extremely heavy. So this requires three heavy, and this requires three very heavy. So basically, to get four of them, it requires a lot. And I definitely should have this be in the recipe instead of the heavy. But, you know, it's whatever. Anyway, I'm going to just sit here for probably an hour and bring you back. All right, and we're back. Um, oh shoot, I forgot something. Okay, uh, never mind that. Uh, so, actually, I did forget something. <laughs> ah, yes. So, oh wait. So we need three of these per. I mean, this is just. Yeah, let's just grab a few of those. Um, what? Alright, lead. Oh, we don't even need to... Let's grab a few lead ingots. Just a few. Recipe. And we need 12 of these. 
We're gonna need four times two, so eight times four, which is at half a stack, conveniently. There we go. There's that. And then the fun part, making 24 of these. Actually, didn't I make a bunch of those? Okay, yeah, I did. All right, I think we have enough. <laughs> so we need 12 of these as well, which that still takes a lot. So we get the, so we can get the spacesuit. And we're also going to f need to start, since we can no longer use the, um, we're not going to be able to get away with this anymore. Oh, come on. Go into the system. We have to wear the spacesuit now. We are going to be wearing our Ring of Arcana. Oh, I am so slow. Alright. Let's go to the moon! We we already skipped most of the launch area because we're at the top of the world already. I could have done this lower down, but um... Yeah, I don't think that was really an option. Alright, here we go! Yeah, there's no blocks above me, there's no need to steer at all. There's my base. <laughs> and here we go. Just gonna take a screenshot of that. How long till it all loads out? And wait, 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 and it's all gone. We can't make it appear anymore. Oh wait. No. No. Yep. No. We head to the moon. I feel like we are a bit off. Well, we'll be overhead once we get it high enough. Because this is taking a while. Uh, speaking of which, how's our fuel? Uh, we're doing fine. And then I'm pretty sure the moon is the only place we can go right now. So, let's... And now... Slow down. I mean, we don't actually necessarily need to slow down. But we should. Eh, probably not at the moment, though. We just need to slow down once we start getting to the danger zone. Get a quick look around, see if there's a... Oh, that's what I forgot to make. Yeah, I'm actually just going to try to get the meteoric iron. Actually, if memory serves, we can just... We can trade the schematics, obviously, but we have to still go get two of them. So, yeah. Oxygen stuff. Ooh, fuel canisters. That's convenient. Yeah, we can switch these around if we want. And, yeah, he wants jungle saplings for s sapphires. So, if we quickly grab one of these... I forget that I have one in here all the time, but... So, we do this, and grab jungle saplings. Go all the way back to the last trade. I'm also trying to kill a little bit of time for... Uh, getting at meteors to spawn. So... Oh, he's out. 
Do you have a sapling trade? Ooh, yours is a bit more expensive, but sure. We don't need that many. And saplings at this point are basically free. Also, doesn't that open up more? Yeah, it's a rinse-repeat trade. <laughs> eh, I think we're done here. So, we have the sapphires in the event that we, you know, want to use those. Okay. I think, yeah, now we just... Wait, is this one right here? No, that's not one. It'd be really convenient if there was one nearby, but I don't think we'd get that lucky. So, I think once again, we go AFK somewhere safe. And, oh, wait. That's right, going AFK is not the best idea. Because as you can tell, our oxygen is going down. So, well, let's go AFK somewhere relatively safe. And, yeah, wait for meteors. All right, and there is the last meteor we need. Remember, we only need a block of the stuff, but, and we also get double from furnaces, so we only needed uh, five pieces. But, while I was looking for meteors, I found this. This is... Oh, jeez, I am so slow. This is a dungeon. So, we're gonna just quickly go through this. It should be relatively easy. I just realized I don't... Hold on. Why am I not using this to its full potential? Wait, is that not... There we go. Now monsters can't touch me. And also, why am I not carrying my laser? Get out of my way. <laughs> Alright. Um, another music disc. Oh, I forgot there was meteor pieces in these dungeons. And we got oil. So, you know, we might as well click those, mostly for the canisters. Um, <clears throat> ah, here we are. Hello. Goodbye. Oh, wait, wait. There it is. Okay, I was a little worried that broke. But anyway, here's the dungeon key. And we got the moon buggy. We don't care about the moon buggy, to be honest. So I'm actually going to go quickly trade that. As soon as I find my pick. Let's just... No, come on. Come on. Let's get out of here. Ah, of course, we hit a Norvane. Alright. And... Oh, moon dirt. Taking a little longer to mine the... There we are. Alright, so I just need to find a village. Thankfully, there are actually two nearby, so... Either one will work. And now we would go find a villager. And grab our sapphires. Okay, we can get the moon buggy later, but for now, let's get a rocket. We'll try to get the moon buggy later, I promise. We may even, we'll probably get it when we go to the asteroids, but that's all I wanted to do here, so I think we're going to leave, and that should actually be an episode. Yeah. I think we're done. 
So next time I'm actually going to be working on the Wand of Animation, not on Galacticraft. So, yeah. Let's put our stuff away. And yeah. Anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye!